These are important interventions for food security, but they are not adequate in the context of changing climatic conditions, changing use of land and water resources, population growth, urbanization and changing food culture, and in the context of rapidly decreasing genetic diversity in farmers' field. The target of increasing global food productivity by 70% and of feeding 9 billion people by 2050 can only be achieved if we support farmers in maintaining diversity of crops in their farmlands. If we conserve the gene pool of crop relatives in the wild. If we sustain the services like pollination and nutrient cycling. And if we promote locally appropriate solutions to local farming challenges. This calls for looking critically at the areas of traditional agriculture systems managed by local farming communities, where farming is still subsistence-based. Such areas are the agrodiversity hotspots where crops evolve with time. With ever-changing climate, and with socio-cultural interactions unlike in the ex situ preservation where seeds freeze to time. These are the areas where interdependent production systems are nurtured by the innovations and practical knowledge of farming communities. These are the areas where the source of food is secured, where the food produced is diverse, nutritious, and socio-culturally acceptable. The indigenous knowledge and practice <clears throat> of doing diversified uh, agriculture on the ground, uh, getting food of different kinds, play a critical role. And that part of knowledge is quite limited to the outside world. Agrodiversity hotspots require an urgent conservation and management attention very much in line with other remarkably rich biodiversity areas such as global biodiversity hotspots, global 200 ecoregions and many more. The global recognition of agrodiversity hotspots will encourage the farming communities to celebrate and maintain their food systems and continue with their traditional agricultural practices. Dengan sedang pat nadu mentah kan, ban ajaing hikaya kita dah kaba, dah kaba ni penlongi kini kita awareness program. This will also acknowledge their roles as the custodians of agrodiversity, and as primary actors in achieving the objectives of global food security. If you look at the and uh, at the map today and map out where indigenous people uh, peoples live and take another map where is the agrobiodiversity and you put them together they are identical so the indigenous people have been the custodians uh, of the uh, uh, of the agrobiodiversity but it's not just indigenous peoples also there are rural communities that do the same thing the Agrodiversity Hotspots and Food Security Initiative is designed to support the recognition of agrodiversity hotspots as sites of global food security. Through this initiative, an inventory of agrodiversity resources from the Hindu Kush Himalaya region will be developed. Associated practices by the small scale farmers their knowledge on crop use and nutrition value will also be documented. Community knowledge base will be strengthened through farmers to farmers exchange and cross-learning programs. Economic incentives to the communities from small-scale farming will be created through supporting value chain of local crops and cuisines. From research perspective, Agrodiversity hotspots will serve as an interface integrating traditional knowledge with modern science and will allow scientific communities to work with farmers to develop and test adaptive crop varieties. 
Uni usumpai ubelong trai sinong trai ri trai jaka hang ne ukam ha shibun bat ukam la ban ye kini ki wai ki wai ki ki jait sembai. The broader aim of the initiative is to attract global investments in such community managed traditional agriculture and food production systems. There is something that the international community could do to promote the indigenous knowledge and practices to um, address the um, climate change impacts and other impacts on the food security in the future. Easy mode. The International Center for Integrated Mountain Development takes this initiative as the one that not only links farmers' innovations to the objectives of biodiversity conservation, climate change adaptation, and sustainable livelihoods, but also incentivizes the farming communities to maintain crop diversity in their farmlands, and thereby the nutritional diversity in the table for all. Mountains are a place uh, for diversity in all different dimensions, biodiversity, cultural diversity, and importantly, agricultural diversity, so important for food security of this generation and generations to come. We call for support to strengthen the agrodiversity hotspots and food security initiative in the Hindu Kush Himalayan region. Together, let us raise a global voice to protect agrodiversity hotspots as areas of future food security.